Hello everybody, welcome back to Style Boundary. This is Erica. Hope you guys are doing well and still staying safe. And today it is Saturday. We're super sunny in London, so I thought I would just film and get ready with me for you guys. I'll show you guys this spring everyday makeup look for my oily and acne pro skin. And with no further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so for skincare routine, the first product I will be using is this one. So this is the Glow Tonic from Pixi. So I got this big bottle here. Um, you can see it's, it's literally the last bit. So what I would do is get a cotton pad and I'm just gonna pour these guys onto the cotton pad. I just generally clean my face. So actually it has acid. Uh, make sure you use sun cream to protect your skin because it kind of exfoliating your skin, like the first layer of your skin. So make sure wear your sun cream. All right, so the next item that I'm gonna use is this one. This is the eye cream from Avene. Um, I'm sorry, it's French. Um, this is the refreshing eye contour care for sensitive eyes. Just like this. And then do dot 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 on my eye. Dot dot dot. And then make sure you use your middle finger or ring finger to apply it. So the moisturizer I will be using, it is the Hydrating Light Moisturizer from Simple. Moving on to sun cream. So sun cream is so important. If you don't have time or you can only wear one skincare product, wear a sun cream. You will definitely thank me in the future. Okay, so the one that I'm using is from La Roche-Posay. This is the anti-shine non-perfume dry touch gel cream with 50 plus SPF, which is good. Perfect for the sunny day. But to be honest with you, even I stay home during quarantine, I wear this sun cream every single day, non-stop. Even it's gloomy outside. Maybe I'm a bit hardcore, but I feel like if I can avoid UV getting into my skin, is is worth it. Because I don't want to have wrinkles. Sun is gonna cause all these troubles on, so we need to avoid it. Do you guys put on sun cream every day? Let me know in the comments because I would love to know one more thing well I make sure myself put on some lip balm and this is the um, Glossier Balm.com with no colors so I just get a tiny bit and apply it on my lips all right so skincare routine is done I don't think it's too complicated good enough and everything is kind of simple Okay, so moving on to makeup. So the first thing that I'm gonna use um, is this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And how to use it is straightforward. Do <laughs> a bit on my under eye. Kind of cover up a little of my blemishes, you know. Time to blend. And I'm using the Rue Technique Foundation Blush. Can't really see the number, maybe it's 200, but I've um, been using it for a very long time so can't really see the printing on the brush anymore so I'm just gently to dab 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 everything into my skin to kind of blend in and it is the fifth day of the strictly restriction kind of losing it a bit and people can dine outside in outdoor in restaurant and they can go to a pub obviously drinking outdoor retail uh, people can go shopping which is good a lot of people just need some retail therapy in this difficult time which is great I think um, I can't wait things to go back to normal to be honest it has been too long I haven't seen my family for over a year because they, they literally live so far away and my friends um, who are living in London I, I don't really see them as well because obviously the restriction so yeah I wish everything goes back to normal very soon so I can just see my loved ones set my base makeup for a little and the powder I am using it is the Burr filter powder from obviously 3CE and what I do is I all 
open the lid and I cut a tiny teeny bit amount of powder and then I just gently apply it there I go Moving on to the next item, I'm gonna do my bronzer. If you guys have seen my previous video of what's in my bag, you might probably have seen this. I was like raving about this bronzer. It is a cream bronzer from Chanel, which I love it so much. I think I've been having it for a year, but I'm literally using it non-stop. All other bronzer that I have literally just gone. I don't use them anymore because I feel like I found the one. I would just get a foundation brush, which is um, the one that I was using earlier from Real Technique. And I'm just gonna grab a tiny, tiny bit of the bronzer. So here, a tiny bit just to shape up our cheekbones. I will do a bit in here, like kind of underneath my jawline as well, just to shape up a bit of dimension. I love how blondy it is and it makes me look very healthy and it kind of gets that summery bronzy look. I've been enjoying using it so much, it is so nice and every time when I put it on I'll be like oh my god girl you look glowing, you just look healthy, you look sun kissed. That's why I have been raving this particular product for so long. But this is actually the one and only Chanel makeup powder that I have. If you have any recommendation on Chanel Beauty, do let me know in the comments because I would love to know or I would love to try. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna use is the Cloud Pink. This is the blush um, called Storm. I got it when I was in New York last year. Um, first time being in glossy New York store and it was so much fun. I love the interior. And for this color, this is kind of like purplish, warm, rosy shade. I think it looks great on Asian skin tone. Just three dots. I will just start blending them by using my fingers to just dab 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 like this. Um, texture is buildable, so if you want it lighter, you use a tiny bit amount. But if you want it stronger, you can do a, a second or a third layer if you wish. Ooh, damn, love the color. Oh, oh I also have this one called Dusk. And this is kind of more like a taupey brown shade if you're looking for like brown natural kind of makeup, it is perfect for it. Okay, so for eyebrows, currently I've been using the Kai Brow from Benefit for, for a long time. Before doing my brows, I normally tend to brush it a little so I can see where should I fill the gap. So I need a lot of concentration when I draw my brows so maybe I will just do it fast forward for you guys because I will not be talking Okay, so at the end of my brows, I normally love to make it slightly longer So when I draw my eyeliner, it is kind of a, like kind of like a proportion of my face looks a bit more even if that makes sense Okay, so I'm done with drawing my brows and now I'm just gonna use this bit of eyebrow pencil I'm just gonna brush it through to make it look a bit more natural so just gently because I still love the shape of the brows so I'm gonna do this bit so for today's makeup it's kind of like the everyday makeup look that I would wear to work to see friends or even just on a date but I prefer natural makeup more than like the heavy makeup that I used to pray about it and to set the brows um, I'll be using the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. I just gotta brush everything upward so I look a bit more awake. So, moving on to my eyes. So, the first thing I do before putting on anything is I will curl my eyelashes. For eyeshadow, I am using this, the triple shadow from 3C. I mean, it's just my perfect kind of eyeshadow which I love to use every single day for everyday makeup is perfect now I will get the lightest shade in here apply all over my lid 
for the next step, I'm gonna use the shade right here. And I will do a circular motion to kind of just focus on my outer corner. Which I've been using for a long time, but this is still the one. Like, it is irreplaceable. Blend a little. Okay. So now I'm gonna grab a bit more and I'm focusing on this inner corner here to just dip in my eyes again. And then now I will be using the tinier brush in here in the corner for my underline. I'm gonna do some as well using the same shade to just give, give my eyes a bit more definition and shape. So eyeshadow is done and moving on to the eyeliner. So the eyeliner I'm using is called the Smooth Liquid Eyeliner. It is waterproof which is perfect for my greasy oily eyes. And the brand is called Heroni Make. They're from Japan. So I normally love to do a good pair of cat eyes. So I feel like it is so me. Like with dark cat eye, I'm not Erica. I normally tend to do a strip up stroke like this and then I do another one here I think it worked and then here you can see like a tiny teeny bit of gap in here and now I'm just gonna fill it in there you go well I mean it doesn't look perfect but sometimes I tend to embrace it is what it is do you know what I mean? Now, this one. So, mascara, still the same brand because I just love it so much. To be honest with you, I feel like once you find like a perfect kind of product for yourself and you're just never gonna change, right? So this is the Lawn and Curl Mascara from Harone Make again, which I love. But I feel like after putting on, it feels very voluminous. I like to hold my mirror down like this so, so I can see clearly what's going on. Ta-da! Can you see the difference? It's such a big difference. So I tend to do two or three layers because I love long eyelashes. Okay. And then we do second and third layer and I'll be right back. And now I'm gonna do a bit contour on my nose. So for contour, I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow palette which I was using earlier. And I'm gonna get this shade over here, asymmetric brush. So you can kind of structure your nose a tiny bit. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more to shake up my nose. Last but not least, I'm gonna do a bit of highlighter. So this is the Dew Effect Highlighter from Glossier. And the one that I'm using is kind of like pinky-ish. I'm gonna apply a tiny bit on my nose, just the bridge and also the tip of my nose. So here, a little bit, not too much. Here. All right, we're feeling fancy, so a bit in here as well. And then finally, the one last step that we gotta do is lipstick. Maybe I want something natural, kind of a taupey pinky shade, um, which looks great with my skin tone. And I think I've mentioned it in my last What's In My Back video. This is the lip pencil from NARS. Uh, the shade is Take Me Home and it looks so good. So right now, I'm just gonna outline my lips first to have a good definition and then I know how to fill in in the middle. And I feel like when you do your lip liner, you don't have to do like, it is like perfectly inside your lips. You can do a bit outline. Big lips is a thing, right? So uh, yeah, we don't have to be too serious about it. We can outline a little. Okay, so. This is how the shape looks, and now I'm just gonna fill in. I think it's good. So I'm feeling a bit fancy. I think I will be using some lip gloss today. So this is the lip gloss balm in the shade Fancy Glow from Fancy Beauty. I love this color. So I'm just gonna do a tiny bit because I will be wearing a mask. 
Well, actually, I think there's no point. Some people don't wear lipstick anymore because we're wearing a mask. I mean, if I look good, I feel good inside. So why not? Okay, that's it. That's all I need. Right. So this is the finishing look. What do you think? For the jewelry I'm wearing today, I'm just gonna introduce to you guys because I got a subscriber. She was asking me about um, my jewelry, so I thought it would be nice to mention. Okay, so for this two necklaces and these pair of earrings, they're absolutely gorgeous. They are from Ashley and Miu. These are actually gifts from the PR team, and I feel like once I tried it, I absolutely love it so much. I'm literally obsessed. I am amazed by the quality and also the minimal style. It's not too much, you know. And I think it's perfect for every day. I literally wear it every day, even like I'm at home. I just feel great, you know. And yeah, thank you so much for Ashri and Mu. And for these seal rings, um, they're actually from another London brand called Daisy London. I love the sun sign and the moon sign as well. And kind of like spiritual, you know. I absolutely love it. And here, here is a croissant looking ring. It is actually a gift from my friend at work, Adrian. If you're watching this, thank you. I love it so much because she knows the one that I had before, which is looking identical to this one, but it was too big for me. I just love it so much and I couldn't really take it off. I just love it. She knows that it's oversized and she got me another one. This is so cute. And now I think my makeup is done, my hair is done. Also have put on some lovely nice jewelry. I should get changed and I'll be right back. Okay, hi guys. So I've just got changed. Uh, so I'm still wearing the same white t-shirt from Nike and wearing this with a black body skirt, uh, very silky and comfy, which I think is perfect for today. And then I'm wearing a full fur coat. Um, well, you might think I'm crazy wearing this in spring, but to be honest with you, it's cold in England, so have to make sure I'm warm all the time. Lastly, uh, I am taking my baby, my Celine luggage nano with me. I think the black is kind of like matchy matchy. And now I think I will just head off and yeah, this is the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoy watching it and maybe somehow find it useful and hopefully see you soon. Bye guys!